it's Don, the auction professor, here on another cold morning. Uh, it's been raining all day again. I'm all bundled up, so is the family. It was an unpleasant ride to school again, as I said. Um, I had pulled out some uh, Valentine cards that I just got uh, a week or two ago uh, to throw some more in. Um, I see Valentines quite often. Uh, they're not the only kind of cards, but Valentines do sell well depending on the type, the size, and the, the structure of them, age, of course. Uh, best ones are pre-1950. Um, I love the 1920s and 30s. They sell very well. I can usually get a big bunch of them in a box for, say, five or ten bucks. Um, got some right here, some larger ones, dogs, puppies, animals. Uh, very unique subjects. A lot of them have movement where if you move a little dial, they move. Very good sellers. I'll show you some close-ups here. Here's some close-ups of them. Uh, when it comes to Valentine's, the subject matter is the most important, and again, as I said, the age. Um, things with action that actually open up or move or are, have cute subjects such as dogs sell well. Something like this, uh, it's got a little damage. I'll still expect to get eight or ten bucks for it. Same goes with some of the larger ones. Uh, that one's damaged, probably not, but again, another dog. I'll put uh, the type of dog, Cocker Spaniel, eight to ten bucks probably on that one alone. Uh, this one's pretty cute. Uh, I actually liked this one. Uh, it moves as well, too. Uh, as you can see, this one I'd probably put 15 or 20 on. Uh, another dog, same thing, 8 to 10. Sports, they do very well. Uh, this one, actually it's not damaged too bad. Um, the ones with these webbing actually sell better, I would expect because of the subject matter on this one. Uh, I'll probably put like 20 bucks on it, 24 50 and see where it goes from there. Um, they don't all sell, but uh, these earlier ones seem to sell very well. Might not be huge quick movers, but I will sell a bunch of these right off the bat when I list them. Again, movement, uh, these sell very well. This is probably from the 30s or 40s, as are the other ones I've showed you. Uh, again, the cuter the subject matter, the better they sell. Um, kids sell very well. Open up, these are made to stand up. Uh, pretty cute. You can see some other ranges of them. But the best ones, I find, uh, besides the military or the, the cute ones, are famous ones for, like, Disney and things like that. These are literally original Disney ones, Walt Disney Productions. This one is dated 1939. That's when this was actually made. It is actually a moving card, too. Uh, Geppetto and uh, Cleo the Goldfish. All moving. Uh, this one I'll probably put like twenty-seven fifty in the Disney category section. I would not doubt that I would get somewhere in the fifteen to twenty dollar range just on this one alone. Uh, let's see here, Cats and Jammer Kids. This one's a little damaged. Uh, I'll hold on to it till I get a few more of these. Here's um, Hamburger Man. That's uh, Popeye. If you don't know, it's Wimpy. Uh, this one is a pretty good one. I will probably expect to get, say, 15 or 20 as well. Uh, here's some damaged ones. I believe that's Cats and Jammer Kids as well, too. 15 or 20. Uh, Boy Scouts. This is an early one, 1920s. Uh, I would imagine I'll probably get, say, 8 to 15 bucks on that one. Here's another early one, 1939. This one actually has an attached bow. It came with candy, it looks like. Um, this one actually looks like it went to that little blimp I got. Yep to the blimp. Um, this one I'll probably get 10, 15 bucks for. Babar. I used to collect these for my son. His room was decorated when we are first born. When um, he was born we had elephants everywhere. Uh, instantly recognized it. These are from the 30s as well. I would probably expect to get 10 or 15 for each. Wizard of Oz is another one I see. Um, sells very well. Uh, again, 30 on this one, probably 35. Good subject matter. Uh, decent condition. It's an original from the original release. It actually has Lowe's Picture Incorporated and says Wizard of Oz on the back. I believe that's another Cats and Jammer. I'll probably throw those three that I showed you. Let's see, where's the other ones? This, this, and this one all in a lot. Uh, I'd probably put, say, 45 on it and probably take somewhere in the 2025 20, range for the three of those. Um, Charlie McCarthy, another good subject. Uh, oh, oh, look at that. I didn't even notice. That's the kind of action you want. This one I'll probably put 25 or 30 on that as well. Um, there's some more cards in there. Uh, again, the better the subject matter, the 
best they'll sell. Uh, this is a good example. This is an early one. This is probably turn of the century. Um, I will probably get, say, 20 on this one as well. Again, the prices vary across the board. Teddy Bear, that one should sell very well. Uh, 10, 15 bucks on price wise. I would never pay more than say a dollar or so a card if it's something like the Disney or the comic book characters or something really spectacular. Um, they're going to sell those kind. Um, as I said, there's tons of different kinds. Uh, put them in a lot. If you get a bunch of them like this, you can probably get say 15 bucks for 10 of this, the common ones. Um, if they all move or they do some sort of action, uh, you can probably get more. Um, again, I went try some of the better ones like the Disney as I gave you some specific prices. But uh, they're big sellers, big movers. Um, I see them all the time. Every estate sale I go to, I see some. Um, I, geez, I see them everywhere. Even garage sales. Even some from the 50s and 60s sell very well. Uh, same with Christmas cards with Santa Claus in it pre-1970. Spacey ones. Um, oddballs. So uh, look out for them. And as you see, some of these do sell for a lot of money. Um, you can look them up yourself. And they close auctions. You will see them going for high dollars in some cases. The movie related, as I said, Disney... Popeye, uh, Catch and Jammer Kids, Catch and Jammer Kids, they all sell well. Um, they'll be quick movers for you. Popeye one, I would imagine getting right away 15 or 20 bucks for it. Again, greeting cards, especially Valentine's cards. In another video, I'll go over some of the Christmas, some postcards, and some other paper items that you can find and see for reasonable price that you can make a good profit on. Most of these, as I said, I only have a few cents into them a piece because I bought them in bulk. So uh, again, look out for them. Have a good day. Subscribe to my video. Comment, like, and share. Thanks.